Hello my crafty friends and welcome to another tutorial video by yours truly. Um, if you like my videos please hit the subscribe button below and also hit the uh, little bell so you get notified of any future videos that I do and also if you have the time which will be much appreciated if you copy and paste the link onto your Facebook groups, TikTok groups, Pinterest groups, whatever groups you belong to if you copy and paste the link for my videos that would be absolutely marvellous and thank you so much for doing it. Right so what have I got for you today? It's going to be another quick video and again as you can see it's going to be taken from the Crafters Companion template library the violet one. Now I kind of played around with number six pattern which is the left stepper card and this is how it um, turns out which is very nice very good but I kind of had a play but you can reverse it so basically um, just by doing a very simple straightforward little tweak to the template um, which doesn't damage it it doesn't do anything to it um, it's perfectly safe but you get the right stepper so you get the stepper on the right hand side as opposed to the left hand side so without further ado let me show you how i've done it put those to one side so we don't need this because we know that the pattern is number six so and as you can see i have got my template library here and i have got my piece of card poised ready and waiting so we just go to number six which is the left stepper card now normally if you want the um stepper you just put your card underneath do your tracings mark out your pencil marks and that's it but we want to reverse the step a bit so all we do is just flip it over let me bring this back over and we just trace around it as we normally would make sure your card piece is perfectly straight and just draw around your and just pencil in your markings and that is basically it so all you're doing is going to reverse as i said your let me just bring that in a little bit so you just continue round. now because we flipped the template over the markings for your cut lines and everything are going to be um you won't be able to read them now that's absolutely fine it doesn't matter we know this middle one is the cut line so we draw that one in because obviously we are going to need that so drawing the cut line and obviously we need the score line so we put in our score lines so starting from the bottom we put that one in the others are just templates for your mat and layers so at the moment we don't need those we're just going to do the basic shape now these two here um it kind of threw me to start with but if you look on the original on this one it is those two so they are quite close together if i just hold so they are um and that's how it goes so so yes it's these two here so i so we draw those in and the next one and finally the one at the top and then don't forget this one we've got a mountain fold that goes across like that and that is all our markings the rest as i say are your mat and layers so at the moment we don't need those so we take our piece of card out we've got all our markings we've got our card there we cut it down to the size that we want so let's just put that to one side <clears throat> and let's move 
this out of the way and then we will get our trimmer in and then so we have got our trimmer so we just lift this up and and this is quite good because all you need to do is just move it so that the pencil lines are right in the middle of your gap and um once you can do down it goes easy peasy like that and then again just move it so your pencil marks are right in the middle of your cutting track which obviously it is and then up it goes and then do it on the final <coughs> piece and uh, final piece and slide it in so that all your pencil marks are clearly in the cutting groove and then finally the last side which you can actually move up to the top make sure it's in the groove at the bottom and i clearly have got all my pencil marks in the cutting piece now be careful here because we want to cut this middle bit so again um, for ease line up your card to the top and slightly lift your trimmer you can do this with the um, cutting blade and a scissors um, sorry um, a ruler and a scalpel that's absolutely fine if you want to do it that way and then just bring it gently down to the bottom of where and then and then lift it up there we go and we have all our cutting done put that to one side all we need to do now see there we go is do our scoring so a metal ruler and a fine embossing tool and just and bring your uh score line right up to the cutting mark because the pencil mark doesn't actually meet but that doesn't matter we can do that and again take your score line right to the edge of the card edge and again this one just do that one there and again so you've got two in the middle here so be careful of that need that one and that one and then finally this one here now because i've done one before i have got a pattern so um and again you've got pictures in the template library um of how it goes so there you go and I'd, and you can see so the first one is mountain just ease it in and then the second one is that one is mountain and then we've got a valley so it goes basically mountain valley mountain just ease it in mountain and then last one mountain and then you just ease it all together just like that and then we do the last one there you go then all that needs is a good crease with the um, but take out your pencil marks so take out your pencil marks down the middle along the middle here
and along the center and the bottom one so just get rid of all your pencil marks there we go and then just give it a quick fold again into its proper shape and we can give all that a nice going over with a paper and there you have it and that ladies and gentlemen is how you do a left a right stepper card so from that one template you can have either way so thank you very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again on the next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for future notifications and copy and paste the links of my videos onto your own social media groups that you belong to. That would be absolutely awesome. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.